Okay, tutorial three. Let's see if we can get this one done in 16 minutes as well. It's a little KPI for myself. So uh, we have got the database that we started with last week. We had inguinal hernia with, with complications. We've created our two little queries. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, yeah, we've got, our, we've got our base table. We've got our query. We've got our query on top of that query. And, uh, and if you were going to look at it from a data flow point of view, you'd have the DS1 table, the data flowing into the inguinal hernia table, and then the data flowing into the inguinal hernia with complications table. So we're, we're going to start with the inguinal hernia with complications table. So we've got that inguinal hernia with complications table. And the first thing we need to do is to say, well, hey, that's a nice table. It tells us that we've got these 60 people that had inguinal hernias with complications. But what kind of hernia did they have? What does K4090 mean? And this is where we get to see the real power of databases. This is, this is the beautiful thing about databases. Is How do we go find out K4090? We would have to go, we could go look it up in the diagnosis table. So we could double click on the diagnosis table. We could say, um, search, I don't know. <sighs> Uh, find anyways i can't figure out how to search but you, you'd search for you search for k4090 you'd find out what it was but we got a much easier way to do it we can we can go we can actually drag the diagnosis table in here and we can join them up we can say for each of these tdiag1 records what is the code id well how would we do that we would drag a line from tdiag1 to code id we would drag ascii desk down oh, let's make it let's put it in the right place let's put it uh let's drag it right between these two so it's a uh, so it's next to the description and we run that and now we've got not only do we have tdiag1 but we've also got the description we've got the length of stay and 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 sex but we've also got the description we we can see that that 4090 is a unilateral or unspecified inguinal hernia without instruction of gangrene not specified cool so that's the that's how we do that what would happen if we didn't have that line if we didn't if we got rid of that line and we ran that so just just uh just to show you what happens if we would have that line we still have 1,923 records because, or 60 records, because for each one of these records, it went and looked up the other record. What would happen if we didn't have that line? That line specifies, that line says that for each one of these, go look up this thing. If you don't have that line, we run that. It says for each one of those 60 records, multiply it by every one of the other records. So that's why we've got cholera. Why do we have cholera? It has nothing to do with K4090. Exactly. We didn't have that line, so we've got no connection. We end up with 9 million records. Is that right? No, 909, almost a million records, because that's 60 times 15,000. It, it multiplies them together. So the moral of the story is, is always have a line. Every table needs to have a relationship. That's the one thing that we make mistakes in in this thing if if you do it with too big a tables like we was actually kind of lucky because we only had a million records as the output but if we did it with like a million record table times another million record table you know we're talking trillions there it's uh it slows your computer down and and you press control break to stop it uh i don't know how, whether it's going to work in the virtual machine here so uh, you may lose your data so just just make sure you've got a line that's what i'm saying cool so we've got a relationship isn't that good? We've added that relationship in. The relationship, you can, there, if you, there's a thing called left joins and right joins. For example, if you didn't have every diagnosis, you could say, I want all the inguinal hernias and the diagnosis where it matches. Um, so we could, we could right click on that and say join properties. And we could say um, only include those that Jeff. Right now, the default is that it's called an inner join, it, where they both join. And but if we could say, well, let's say we'll, we'll include all the diagnosis records and only those records from guanine hernia that where the join fields are equal. So what would happen then if we did that? You see the little arrow there. Well, how many re results do you think we would get? Well, we probably we're not going to get nine. We're not going to get sixty. We're going to get. Oh, what the? Uh, let me run that. That's better. Uh, no. Uh, maybe I did that wrong. Join properties, include all records from diagnosis and only those records from, well, that didn't work. Anyways, I'm not going to show you that. Um, cool. So uh, uh, we've got a relationship. Uh, don't worry about the 
in a join. That's pretty boring. <sighs> Great. So now let's make another query. Let's uh, let's take that query and uh, we'll save that. We'll save that query. Close that. Close all. Uh, and uh, and we'll make another query. So we'll create another query. We're gonna. What we want is we want the the name of the procedure. Oh, actually, let's go back into the design. Uh, yeah. Let's, so we'll create another query. We we'll close that and we drag in the in Guan Herman's complications. What we want is now is we want the name of the procedure that that person had. So we're gonna drag in the procedures table. And uh, and we're gonna join. Uh, Toper one to code ID. So now, not only do we have the uh, what what would happen? Yeah, so we want we want the code ID, the ASCII desk, and the length of stay. So this will um, uh, we'll save that as complications by procedure with length of stay. Uh, run that query. It's got the it's the, got the all the different things and the length of stay for each of the procedures. Complications. Cool. So that gives us the the procedure of the of the query. So we'll save this and use it and use it later. Uh, so now we're going to go back to the uh, uh, um, hmm. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do some other things with the, with the query. We're gonna create a, a length of stay summary for inguinal hernia. So we want to, um, to create a new query, and uh, we want uh, the length of stay summary for inguinal hernia. So we take the inguinal hernia uh, query. And we want the length of stay. We want the length of stay for that one. So we, we again we want the uh, diagnosis table, and uh, join that up together there, so we can have the uh, uh, T diag one and ASCII desk. So we can have the description of those uh, of those nineteen hundred and twenty three, uh, eighteen hundred thirty two records. And let's say, what is the length of stay summary? So, for for these, how do we summarize this? How can we let's uh, let's let's drag the uh, put the length of stay in there and say, well, what is the what's the total length of stay? What's the average length of stay? How can we find that out for each of these categories of hernia? How can we do that? So this that is use this totals button. So we turn the totals button on, and then we can see um, fancy things. We can see this group by group by group by. Now, what we want to do is, is uh, 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 change the, uh, uh, the group by to count. Now, when it's count, it actually doesn't matter. Let's so I'll run that, and it says, okay, for these different types of inguinal hernia, these are the different counts. So this is definitely the most popular inguinal hernia, uh, unilateral or specialized without obstruction or gangrene. So kind of like the a basic inguinal hernia. The, that's the most popular one. But it says count of length of stay. Well, it's a bit of a furphy there because length of stay, it doesn't matter what field you choose there. So we can change that from length of stay to uh, sex, for example, and we run that. And it still is it's 1326. So it just counts the number of records. It doesn't, access is a bit weird that way that it has to have something there, but it uh, you need that for the count. So, um, so that's what you could do. So what totals does is it takes a whole bunch of records and 
compresses them together into the the things you've grouped by. So you generally, you don't group by too much when you're doing this. You you group by just a few fields um, uh, because these fields change at the same rate. There's a it doesn't matter whether there's one or two of them. So for example, when I run that, there's nine records. If I delete um, that column and I run that, there's still going to be nine records. It's because because they don't change at the same rate. They they change at the same rate. So I could drag T dag one down there again, but uh, but if, for example, if I added in sex, there's two sexes, and they're also grouped together. So instead of nine records, we're going to have uh, 18 records. Well, we should have 18 records, but it, not every category is, is represented. But, you know, there's, there's two females, two female, male, male, female, male, female, male, female, male, female, male. So that's the, the – the, we've grouped them together by, by sex as well, and we've broken it up. So generally, you don't group things very much. You try to minimize the grouping. But for now, uh, we uh, we're doing that. So we've got we've got a count field. Uh, doesn't matter what the count is. Let's, let's count it by T dag one because it's kind of looks pretty. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, and and now let's add some more fields. So we don't we don't just want to count. Like there's a whole bunch of things we can do with this count, sum, average. Let's try a few other things. So let's uh, let's. But these other ones they matter what what field is. So let's say what's the the average length of stay. What's the total length of stay? Sum. So that's like bed days. How many bed days is is uh, is is this equivalent to? Uh, what's the maximum and minimum length of stay? Uh, maximum. What's the standard deviation length of stay? What's what are what are some statistical tests? And we can run that, and we'll do all those calculations for us. Um, you see, if the if the number is too wide, it doesn't show. So you get these hash signs. But if you double click on the edge, it'll it'll show you what it is. So the minimum length of stay is always one. The maximum is 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 different for the different uh, different things. Uh, count of T diag one and um, uh, lots of lots of fancy things. So that's uh, that's how you do summaries in. Uh, in in access so we'll save that as a uh, um, length of stay summary for inguinal hernia uh, i'll save as at the end of the day you should end up with with four queries and uh yeah a picture is worth a thousand words <laughs>